Hi, I'm Eric Tang. In this lesson, I will talk about network protocol in a simple way. Let's start by an analogy. Suppose we have two people talking in a same room, and one say, "Come and see me three, four, five," and the other say, "Okay." Do you know what they are talking about? Of course not, because we don't know what three, four, five actually means. But they do. Can you explain why? You are right. They can understand each other because they spoke in some agreed rules, and this agreed rule call protocol. When one of them said three, four, five, he actually means the third of May, four p.m. They have the protocol of describing time. And so they have no problem in this communication. What is the conclusion? The conclusion is that for two people to communicate, they need the same protocol. Now let's complicate the situations. How about if these two people are in fact in two different locations? As before, they still need the same protocols among themselves. However, this times they still cannot communicate. Why? You are right. This times they have to find a way to send the message from one side to another side. Suppose this times they use the postal service. This time they need to speak the protocols the postal office understand first. This guy needs to prepare an envelope, and then put his message into the envelope, and put a stamp on the envelope, and write an address in a correct format, so the post office can send the message to the other side. Therefore, in this communications, we need another protocol: the protocol between two postmen, or the protocol between the post service. And the message can then be sent successfully to the other side. In conclusions, in order to communicate, we need one protocol and then followed by another protocol. We call this protocol layer. Good. With these analogies, we can talk about how computer communicate in network environment in the next lessons.